Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to today's science update. Today is 11 20, 2019. I know it's been a while since I've brought you one of these. I have a ton of research on my phone that I've been wanting to bring to you, but I picked out five today, so let's get into it. Number one, and I, I love this one because it's what I preach. Um, once again, science just backing up what I've seen in the real world happen. Review of, a, of healthy eating studies find nudges yield best changes in eating habits. <clears throat> what that means, guys, is don't try to overhaul your entire diet, nutrition, style of eating overnight. Just make small little changes here and there. All right, Those small changes, once you start putting a small change on top of a small change, on top of a small change, that's where true habits change. That's where true transformation happens is in those small incremental changes that you just kind of start tweaking in your diet. So guys, if you want to change your life, start making small changes. <clears throat> Second thing that I want to talk to you about is healthier diet may reduce depression. Like really, guys, we've talked about this a hundred times times like the healthier you eat the better your body will perform the more feel-good hormones your body will release if you have more feel-good hormones bouncing around that brain of yours of course you're gonna feel better not only that guys not only is it on a chemical level but it's on a mental level too one of the biggest causes of depression guys is unmet expectations i expected to feel better i expected to be healthier i expected to be skinnier just whatever unmet expectation you have in your head so if you're eating healthier you're holding yourself to a higher standard. You're practicing that thing we always talk about called personal integrity. So if you're practicing personal integrity on a daily basis, you're gonna have more confidence. If you have more confidence in yourself, of course you're gonna be less depressed, guys. All right, next one. I love this one because it's something that I do like run into in my coaching practice. The difference between an expert's brain and a novice brain. All right, so let's think about this. What separates an expert from a novice. It is not knowledge, guys. That's what this research is showing. It is not out there learning a new skill. What the difference is between an expert's brain and a novice brain is applied knowledge. So here's why. What the study pointed to was the more you apply knowledge, the more those hard wiring neurons form together. And now instead of your brain having to search for answers because you just read something a month ago and now you want to go apply it to your life, no, an expert has hardwired these neurons together. So now when he comes to a problem, he immediately knows an answer because he's seen it happen so many times. He's seen what happens when you apply knowledge to action. And that's the difference between an expert and a novice is actually the hard wiring of neurons that turns knowledge into wisdom. He immediately has an answer versus you having to go into your file system trying to find one, right? Love that. Um, all right, so this one just popped up actually this morning. Boredom is on the rise for adolescents, right? So because of this phone right here, because of our addiction to immediate gratification, guys, if our adolescents, our teenagers, young people, if they're not immediately gratified through sugar, candy, food, um, likes on Instagram, TikTok, if, if my video don't get like 100,000 views or whatever it is, like they're not getting that immediate hit of those feel good hormones in their brain. And now they're like, oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't feel excited. I don't feel happy. I need to go do something. I'm bored. Like I don't personally understand what that word bored means. I just truly just in my heart believe that boredom is nothing more than unchanneled energy. So you have this energy inside of you that you want to go do something with. That's why you say you're bored because you have energy you want to go do something. You never hear someone sleepy say, I'm bored, right? Make that connection. So it's unchanneled energy. They just need to go put their energy into something. And unfortunately, they're putting it into immediate gratification. So once you have something that's bigger than that little dopamine hit, that syringe of social media in your arm, once you like can adapt something bigger than that, now you have a sense of purpose and you don't get bored. So I think that's what it is, guys. It's moving from immediate gratification to something bigger than you. When something is bigger than you, that's when you never have problems getting bored. So with our teenagers, with our young people, we've got to give them a sense of mission and purpose in life, right? And actually, this last one kind of coincides with the previous one. 
Mechanisms connect early binge drinking to adult behavior. So I know it sounds kind of complicated. But what it's basically saying is when we're at the adolescent, at that young stage when most kids start drinking, right? That age of like, I think now it's like 13 to 15 is when, you know, a lot of kids start drinking. Once again, you're hardwiring the neurons in your brain to need immediate gratification. Drinking is a form of immediate gratification, right? You have a couple of drinks and you automatically kind of feel your prefrontal cortex shut down and you feel a little hit of those happy hormones. So you're triggering your brain to need immediate gratification. That's what drinking is, especially when your brain is not for fully formed. Your brain doesn't even come online fully until like 25 to 27 years of age. And yes, ladies, quit saying that's only men, it's you too. Um, so guys, that's what it is. Like you're hardwiring your brain to need immediate gratification through drinking, through candy, through all these different like vices we have in our life. And what that leads to is once you hardwire your brain to need those hits later on in life, that hardwiring is still there. So you're still looking for ways to get that immediate gratification, which is why we're seeing adults have the problem they're having now is because, you know, in the old days, let's look at this guys in history, you have to go on a freaking hunt all freaking day to kill something, have dinner that night. Everything you did in life was a long journey and long adventure. There was no such thing as immediate gratification in prehistoric days. All right. Unless you're looking at like sex or something like that. But there was no immediate gratification back in the day. Everything they did was a long journey, a long process. Now, this thing right here puts immediate gratification in our hands 24-7. You know, most teenagers, most people, if they're feeling low, they'll just go post a half-naked picture on the internet, boom, get a bunch of likes. Oh, I feel better about myself. All right? We're seeking external validation instead of true internal validation. So that's it, guys. That's my science update for today. Hope you got something out of this. Um, I'm going to keep bringing these. I love doing these because this is where my mind stays, guys. You know I'm a nerd. I love being a nerd. I love learning new skills, new techniques, and new knowledge to bring you life-changing information, guys. Go take this and apply it to your life. In the meantime, go love, serve, change the world, be the hero you were destined to be. Love you guys.